We all come together all over the world, not just here in Balance View uh, Center in Goa. We come together and we see that the way we used to live our life before was probably outdated. Something didn't really provide the, the results or the expectations. We didn't meet the expectations that were pumped into us day and night about what it means to you live a human life. Okay, so you get good grades in school and then you'll be happy and you'll have many friends, then you'll be happy. And then you'll get your first girlfriend, have the first time sex with your girlfriend. That will make you so happy. You'll finally be mature, you'll know everything. And then you'll find your first job. By then you should be really happy and stable, you got it. And then a bit after, uh, of course, marriage. And, uh, and then when this is not so satisfying, we go to the children. <laughs> they will definitely make us happy. And then, and then the life insurance, and then the nursing home, and then the best hospital insurance. And then, oh, whoa, whoa, wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I want to challenge this and I want to really examine, is this really the case? Did it work for any, uh, anyone I know? So we take a pause and we really look at our own experience. This is definitely what I've done when, when meeting Balanced View. Has, have the tools that I used all of my life provided stability, provided happiness and cheer in all circumstances? And the answer was no. I had ups and downs. I, I of course, had good moments. I also had lots of... Uh, what you would call darker moments. And I had really no idea how to deal with all my thoughts, emotions and sensations. I tried many things and I went to many people to ask them what they think about me and you know, my future and my past and how I can make sense of it. But there was just a whole display of, of general confusion and that reached to the point of almost giving up. And giving up, I don't mean in the terms of ending my life or something, or just giving up and saying, wait, maybe this is this boring story, <laughs> maybe this is life. But that's when, when I was just about to give up, that's when I met Balanced View. That really shook everything that I took myself to be and opened it up to the benefit of all. Because as an identity with a specific story, we are very limited, you know, the identity that is stuck here and we carry with us our past and I get anxious each time I speak in front of 80 people and how can I get it, get, go, how can I make it go away and each morning the same scenario, can someone change it please, <laughs> why and who can I blame and so on or what can I take to change it, give me something. So. We are talking here about open intelligence, which is present while you're trying to change your thoughts and emotions, while you wake grumpy or happy in the morning, it doesn't matter. Open intelligence is always present, like pure space. The space that we are sitting here right now is present regardless of what you're thinking and feeling. Open intelligence is vast and expansive, like a clear blue sky. It has no edges or corners or end to it. It's inexhaustible and it's vast. This is the nature of our mind. When we stop thinking for a moment, we recognize what remains always. Alertness, clarity, cognizance. Cognizance means the power to know the thoughts and emotions that we have. And then we call these data streams, because data they streaming on by. If you try to control the flow of data streams, you are lost. <laughs> and I know it from my own experience. I tried for 25 years to control and better purify, perfect, change, analyze my thoughts, emotions and sensations. Why? Not because I enjoyed self-affliction uh, or something like that. I thought that it will lead to a result of relief and happiness. And that's what I read in the books that I read and that's what in the courses that I took. I saw that in order to be happy, I need to not have negative states. And as I asked before, anyone achieve this silly state of not having negative states? No. I achieved it. It was for a day in 2004. It was sunny and Rishikesh was beautiful. And then I lost it after a second. Because <laughs> something happened. I don't know, the rickshaw beeped too strong or 
the water was polluted or a cow just pooed on the, the road or, you know, things happen. The dynamic energy of open intelligence. So if we wait for the display to change to positive by like things like positive psychology and many ideas about mindfulness, these are really, they are just neutralizing our, our potency. They are neutralizing our vitality to be of great benefit to all. Trying to be, uh, just have positive states is like holding all of this energy and making just a straight line of basic nothingness. Where we allow our anger, hatred, hope and fear to rage completely, then we see that we are wild creatures with lots of potency to give to the world. It's not about changing it. Allowing it to be as it is in short moments many times, that's the greatest empowerment. I was afraid to hate, I was afraid to be af afraid, <laughs> I was afraid of fear. I was afraid of desire that it might go too, too strong or too wild in the wrong circumstances. And, um, but controlling the flow of data streams is impossible and it's really such a waste of precious life and time. Allow yourself to be exactly as you are right now. I know that 99% of you have negative states right now. It's just obvious. You look great, by the way. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I just know that most of the time there are negative things going on for many people. And definitely in the world, if you haven't noticed. Allow it to be as it is. Our mind is like a crystal, a clear, clear crystal ball. Everything that it reflects is a perfect reflection of, of purity uh, and the shine of the crystal ball. The crystal ball doesn't collapse when it sees horror or negativity like hatred or mourning grumpiness. And, uh, and it doesn't, you know, go more shining when it sees a beautiful light being in front of it. Everything is equal and even. And now, don't think about it, how can killing someone can be equal to loving someone. That, that will be so confusing to try to think about it, and I tried, so that's why I'm trying to save you the precious time of thinking about things. I can share that in my own experience it became clear that everything is pervaded by open intelligence, by love and pure benefit. Pure love and pure benefit in every moment. When people try to, to make this look like I tried, I went to settings in Goa where I tried to be loving because that was the vibe. So, how can I be loving? Should I wear something special that will look lovely today? <laughs> and should I touch in a certain way and sing a certain thing? No, exactly as you are. Wow, that's radical. Even for someone like me with lots of negative, exactly as I am. And I came to the trainings, trainers in the first open meeting that I went to and asked, are you sure that it uh, applies f to everyone or just for some people from some countries with a certain life experience? And they were just like smiling with such great confidence and assurance that it applies to everyone. And I could sense it instinctively. We talk about instinctive recognition here, not uh, another intellectual idea. Instinctive recognition of the power of great benefit one moment at a time. Ah, isn't it exciting to enjoy freedom in immediacy of perception? So refreshing. More refreshing than a, than a coconut bottle. Complete perceptual openness in all experiences. See, see if this is the case in your experience right now. Is open intelligence switched on only when you have thoughts that are elevated and positive? Check it. Is it switched off when you think about how much you hate someone or... I'm checking it. It's still on. Always on, spontaneously present. Always for the benefit of all. So rather than individuals walking through the day, you know, waking up in the morning, grumpy, grumpy, coffee, coffee, <laughs> happy, happy, energized, sleeping and all the interactions with other people like that, other than that being like a drag, you know, how can I pass the day and how can I be happy? There's such great openness and good cheer, really, and the ability to discern and see 
how, what are my strengths, gifts and talents and how can I use them for the benefit of all? So it's no longer waiting for someone to save me. It's taking responsibility for my life and giving up the right to be a victim right now. Giving up the right to be a victim of our data streams right now. And that's the empowerment that is found in each and every moment. I'm, I, know I can share with you very directly, I feel very comfortable now with mourning grumpiness and with the sense of despair and depression. For me they are inseparable from pure benefit and it's the same for you. Just for some of us we have a bit more experience. Like Candy says, she has much more experience and I just find it incredible that people can live like that. It's not a special state of mind that is found just in Rishikesh or in Arambol, it's everywhere. I was amazed to find that in Israel, for example, the place that I had so much resentment to and I felt lo I had lots of, this, um, you can say, disharmonious relationship with this country and then when I came back from India, where I participated in the Twelve Empowerments and I saw that open intelligence is present in my family home, I, I almost cried. I made up a whole story about nothing and now this pre place is also pristine. And it has great food, by the way. <laughs> and good people who want to live in peace and harmony, like all of us. Please don't wait anymore and please don't wait for the better state because it will never come and if it will come it will be so temporary that we will just get more and more bitter. Allow yourself to shine exactly as you are. There's so much to be discovered in complete relaxation in complete dedication for the benefit of all. Like think about it as simple dedication. The dedication to want to be a, a good human being, it's a strong one, right? See how it formed your relationships, the choices in your life. The dedication to be a good human being with a specific set of thoughts, emotions and sensations. This, this was a driving force for me all the time and when I came to Balance View, Suddenly I saw it's all about the benefit of all. I just wanted to be a, for, for the benefit of all. And that's what I discovered really by being the funny person that I am with my specific set of data streams. Now sometimes we think, okay, if I had his or her set of data streams, then it would be much easier to rest as open intelligence and, and to recognize complete perfection in all moments uh, if I was confident as, as her and beautiful as him, tall as this guy and no, exactly as we are. We are all united in this pure perfection and it's not a hippie statement so don't take it like that. It's really pure perfection in every moment where you can be in your darkest of moments and you see that there's just pure benefit and openness. We use not replacing, avoiding or, or indulging our data streams, we use the term and the action of outshining, the actionless action, outshining data streams, where you, don't no, you no longer notice them as something with an independent nature. This is not science fix, fiction, it's like human reality as it is 2015 and always was and always will be. So we're just getting tuned in with the vibe of pure benefit. That's the vibe I like. And that's the kind of music I like. Not you love me, you don't love me, when we'll get married and have children and ooh. <laughs> you know, it's the vibe of getting real and potent and alive and, and totally capable to face all of life and, and death as well with great dignity and hold everyone in, in the heart of great benefit. For real, for real. It, it's, totally, it's totally like that. So. And then moments of collapsing into antidotes, you, you, you did it great. You, you recognized open intelligence there and you used the four mainstays. I also had a specific antidote that I played around with for a long time and some, of, some antidotes they just collapsed, like, in, like smoking for example. I used to smoke a bit here and there, didn't really admit it but I did. And then uh, when completing the 12 empowerment, suddenly the, there was no interest. Other things they carried on for a while, they were more like the secretive 
dark things that no one should know about. But then I opened up to my trainer and I said, this is what's going on, help me. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems that short moments are not enough, so what can I do there? First of all, the shame of finding yourself doing something again and again and again, knowing that it's not of benefit. The shame. Ooh. <laughs> How can you, a powerful person who's relying on the Four Mainstays, who got to know open intelligence, can still do these silly things that are not of benefit? Then to see that pure benefit is also there, it's quite a revelation, but we need to have the courage and openness to normalize all experiences. If we'll share here a list of all of our antidotes, we probably, some of us will run away, some will be, mm, interesting, I should try that. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say that we are, made, we are made to be of benefit, so this is also greatly normalizing. There's no shame anymore about which data stream I have right now. No shame whatsoever. No shame. No regret, no wish to have a better data stream. That would be a waste of time. The Four Mainstays as a, as a support network, uh, they just support us to be exalted. And, you know, things like the books that we have, the one-day trainings that we have, it, it takes it to our practical everyday life. Reading media that is of benefit to all, like anything that you'll pick up here. Thoughts, emotions, sensations, or other... I should make my reading voice. <clears throat> Thoughts, emotions, sensations, or other experiences are simply recognized as data or a data stream, the illumination or light signal of open intelligence. Right now, look at your own experience to see if it is like that or not. Up to you. And yet, thoughts, emotions, and sensations are illumination? <laughs> They're not the sinful little idiot things that are jumping around that I need to kill and change? illumination, great light, pure benefit? Yes. <laughs> you see, so just by immersing ourselves in the Four Mainstays, that's what we get to know. And the Four Mainstays, like was mentioned, short moments, the training, one day training that will be tomorrow, about negative states, so it's all perfect and aligned with what was shared about today, and also the train and the community. Available available and more outrageous than ever.